Lot of calories. Buy anything. Well, almost anything. Ah. There's a bounty to be earned if you fancy it. We've got another escaped prisoner on the loose. Thanks. Bring him in and I'll lock him up. How you doing? How come you never do that? Open the door, I'm begging you. <laughs> all right, all right, it's a fair cop as the saying goes. I haven't washed my hands for three days, by the way. I'm sorry, dear. I really am. If you open the door, I'll buy you something nice. I promise. Yes. Fine. Be that way. Let's get moving. Everyone says how nice you are. I've got the best stuff you ever seen. Fill up the your belly with our secret. Food stuff. How to keep your skin nice and soft? Rub some tofu over it. Oh, don't put me back inside. It's hell in there. Please, my sweet, please. I'm so sorry. I I I'll make it up to you. Well, I've heard that before. In the first few times, you disappointed me. Your clumsiness was sort of adorable in its way, but it's got a bit tired, hasn't it? My darling, please don't. I'm sorry. Please, let's not argue. It's so awful. Awfully 
boring, you mean. Perhaps if you ever won, it would be more interesting. Hmm? When I married my wife, she was all sweetness and smiles. And now she's all bitterness and bile. She bullies me. She berates me. It's horrible. She's horrible. But if I divorced her, she'd get half my fortune, which is quite a bit of money. Oh, I wish I was someone else. Wait. What if she was with someone else? If a fellow like you were to approach her, woo her, tell her you've got more money than I do, she'd divorce me to marry you, and I'd be free and clear. Of course, you wouldn't actually have to marry her. Once she's divorced me, you could just walk away. Oh, I'd love to see the look on her face then. I know it sounds repugnant, but this could be my only way out. Will you do it? Finally, a little... You'll do it? Oh, this is the first good thing that's happened to me in years. She's inside. You can start there. I'll go to the pub. Get out of your way. It shouldn't be too hard. You go in there and fawn over her, give her a few shiny trinkets, she'll be all over you. <laughs> Worked for me. What is it now? Don't tell me you want to talk about things. <gasps> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought you were my husband. <laughs> Don't know how I could have confused someone like you for someone like him. <laughs> so, uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> You've got my attention, and that's not all you're going to get. There's my hero. Well, handsome. You're quite a bit of fun, aren't you? Much more diverting than that husband of mine. Do you know, he spends all his time reading or gardening. <laughs> so dull. I can't remember the last time he did something nice for me, like buy me jewellery. I adore jewellery, by the way. brings you great happiness. What can I do for you then? Well, you're the hero of Bright Hall, I I'm just browsing. Look at that! Oh, 
It is beautiful. Thank you. I love it. <laughs> You're the best, darling. Uh. Hello. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 Good move. Ready? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're very good. Hey! Oh, oh. oh yeah. you. <laughs> That's it. Aren't you? I like it. You know how to make a girl feel nice and naughty all at the same time. Mm, that's quite a talent. It's been lovely spending time with you. And it was exciting at first, flirting <laughs> in my husband's house. But aren't you bored? Mm? We should go somewhere nice. How about Brighthall Bridge? All right, darling, if you like. Well, letting go is a bit of a relief, to be honest. Your hands are awfully strong. Clingy, aren't you? All right then, if you must. On, wait for me. Welcome to my shop. I'm looking for something very specific, but in a vague way. Can I be of service? Right. Cheers. I hope there's a nice gift waiting for me at the end of this trip. I love the view here. And you don't ruin it with a lot of talk. You just... Oh, stand there and look handsome. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> You've done that before, I should think. That, or you have amazing instincts. I have to tell you. I've been with William so long, I forgot how incredible it can feel to be with someone exciting. I want more. What do you say? We make a go of this. I'll leave William, and you and I can be together. Of course, if we're going to get married, you'll need to get me a ring. I do have some sense of tradition. A miser, buy someone a present. Try doing Enjoy. something bad for a change. Go on, you like it. You're just a goody two shoes, ain't you? Let 
let me know if you have trouble finding anything. I'm just browsing. We'll need somewhere to live. Not having a roof over my head is maybe a bit too exciting. Stamp my renewal! It's you! The hero who entered the reliquary and survived! How splendid to have you back at the Academy! From the moment we first met, I knew you were someone who understood the value of knowledge, of learning. It's one of the things that sets you apart from your brother. As you know, King Logan closed the Academy and cut all our funding. I don't know whether he considers education a waste of time, or a threat to his power. Your father believed the Academy should archive information and make it available to all, and I share that belief. We have many books here, yet many more languish in obscurity. If they're not found, their wisdom will be lost forever. The Academy needs a hero as much as the people of Albion do. Will you help us to retrieve these rare tomes? Oh, thank the gods of documentation. The Academy will continue to grow. Of course, it will still be closed by royal decree, but let us tackle one problem at a time. Whenever you find a book in your travels, bring it to my desk and I will give it a good home. I know of several that exist and have already prepared displays for them. All you have to do is to place them accordingly. Have you checked the sanctuary? It's you! Thank goodness! Y you've got to help me! My gnomes! My beautiful gnomes! With their little hats! I have to get them back! I just have to, you understand? I, I have to! Oh, thank you! I knew I could count on you! All my darling gnomes have deserted me! Well, all but one, and he's right in the house. His name's Lionel. He always had a chip on his shoulder, that one. I tried patching it, but it didn't do any good. Please, try and talk some sense into him. And don't worry, you won't have any trouble finding him. You, you just need to follow his... <laughs> his voice. Boots. 
This is my house now! Do you ever shoot that gun you have? Or are you just compensating for something? You a friend of Brian's? He's a fine fellow. Yeah, a fine little fancy little fellow. You'll never be able to hit me up here! Whatever happened to that married couple in Brightfall? Do they still need help with their relationship? If you could round up those loathsome gnomes that Brian unleashed, you'd really be doing the world a favor. I felt a girlfriend. Satisfied. I'm not scared of you or your gun. You can just get stuffed. I'm going to make Brian sleep out by the pond. And I'm going to charge him rent. What happened? I heard your gun, and Lionel suddenly appeared out here. But did, did you shoot him? Oh, however you did it, you, you have to find the others. Hunt them down, wherever they are. See, if I can get them all back, I can work out a way to fix this. Your mother! You shut it! I told you never to mention her! Hm, perhaps the company can help. <laughs> 
I am going to write a letter to their customer relations department. A strongly worded letter. I'm writing a book about a hero, two actually, who go on a grand adventure and save the world, and along the way learn something about life and love. And that's the tricky bit. The action is thrilling, the banter is punchy, but any scene where they express their feelings for one another falls a bit flat. I've nothing to draw inspiration from. I've asked passing villagers to express themselves to each other one-on-one, -on -one, most give me a weird look and hurry away. And the ones who indulge me, frankly, take it further than I'd like. None of it helps. I don't want to see the crude, awkward fumblings of everyday folk. I need the searing intensity and awe-inspiring passion only heroes can achieve. Do you know another hero you could bring here? A real, live hero? Someone you cooperate with? I must see not one hero, but two. I want to see two heroes. What would one hero's passion even look like? Uh, don't answer that. You are a mighty hero, but you cannot give me what I need alone. Bring another... Fancy a delivery job? I've got a letter that simply must reach Brightwall as soon as possible. I cannot stress how imperative it is that this vital communication reaches its recipient post haste. This is the final letter in what has been my life's work. I've sent post to every single person in Albion except for Zachary. And this one's for him. So. Will you take it for me? I mostly deal with criminals, so it's nice to see someone like you. Greetings, citizen. Always a pleasure. Excellent! Death will <laughs> seem like a welcome relief once we finish with you, you damn traitor! That didn't look too bad, mate! Come on! Hit him back! Ooh! 
shot you good, man. I'm gonna grind you into hamburgers! The noble, loyal, and faithful.
Can I be of service? Sell me your unwanted items. You're sure I to want find to something them. special for that someone special. If you can find better prices anywhere, then I shan't be surprised if you shop there instead. You... Wow, a letter for me? I wonder what it says. <clears throat> Dear Zachary, you are an ugly, incompetent buffoon and nobody likes you. Yours sincerely, Arthur. Oh, how rude! Please, you've got to help me. I'm so worried. It's my daughter, you see. I can't find her. The little scamp is always going off on her own, having adventures and whatnot. Always comes back after a while, though, but this time she's been missing for hours and hours. I'm frantic with worry. It's all her fault. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Please bring her back safe and sound as soon as you can.
said I shouldn't talk to strangers. Oh, I just did. Welcome to the Sanctuary. You have a decidedly noble air about you. It suits you. I spy with my little eye something beginning with S. You certainly are a big, strong hero, Thora Lady.
Are we there yet? Darling, my little darling, what a relief! I was beside myself. I can't thank you enough. I'm forever in your debt. Whatever happened to that married couple in Brightfall? Do they still need help with their relationship?
wonderful dough work. Lovely work. Pie of the day, I reckon. Great pie. making perfection. Great pie. You can roll with the best of them. That'll fetch a good price. Best pie ever. Mmm, pie making perfection. You handle that dough like an artist. I asked a little letter the other day from a bloke called Arthur. Called me a pea brained carbuncle of all things. How many good deeds did you do? Wonderful dough work. Someone with the right items could make a lot of money. You can roll with the best of them. Pie of the day, I reckon. Lovely work. That's one hell of a pie. It's okay. Someone will buy it. Have that for pudding tonight. Wonderful dough work. Mmm, pie making perfection. One hell of a pie. Good pie. <laughs> Ooh, that crust is divine. That's one hell of a pie. Pie mastery, right there. Pie of the decade, only time will tell. Careful!
Don't tell me right anything anything better in all of Brightwall than the stuff. Home is where the heart is, as they say. It should also be where you have your best furnishings. Now, have you given any thought to redecorating? Wanted items. Fair price paid. Wait a minute. If it's you can like find it. better prices anywhere, then I shan't be surprised if you shut there instead. Yes, that's it. Renting out a house you own is a fantastic way to make money. Real estate is always in demand. 